A son, brother, and father. That's how family members are remembering 42-year-old James Miller, who was killed in a hit and run in College Park. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us live tonight from College Park. And Deidre, family members are making a plea for the driver who is responsible to come forward. That's right. Uh, James Miller was killed earlier this month when another driver ran a red light crashing into his car. Now, it happened here at this busy intersection on Camp Creek Parkway in College Park. Now, the driver fled the scene after that crash. Miller's family is now urging that person to come forward. Please turn yourself in because my brother's gone. He, he left three kids. He's gone. My mother, my sister. James Miller's family returned to the site where he died in a hit and run crash, seeking justice. We want justice for James Miller. We want justice. The 42 year old man's vehicle was struck by another car here in the area of Camp Creek Parkway and Herschel Road in College Park the morning of October 3rd. Uh, it was a Crown Vic, 1999 Crown Vic, and they um, pushed him into the um, pole right here. According to the police report, the hit and run driver ran a red light at the intersection and struck Miller's car, sending it crashing into a utility pole. The driver and passengers in the other vehicle ran off on foot after the crash. Miller died at the scene. You hit my brother. He, he didn't deserve none of this. The Riverdale man was a father of three. On Tuesday, his sisters, mother, and other family gathered for his funeral. Waking up in the morning, don't see my brother. He lived with me. It's, it's just hard waking up and not seeing him there. His loved ones say Miller was a family man who lit up a room. He was loved by many. He was an entertaining person. He's always dancing, making everybody laughing and happy. He was, a joy, you know, he was a joy of the family. He was a people person, church person. College Park Police tell Fox 5 the Georgia State Patrol is handling the investigation. Miller's family urges the driver involved in the deadly wreck to come forward. So that's hard. Very hard. Very hard for this family. Indeed, they say that they will do whatever they can to make sure that whoever does this is brought to justice. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information in the case is asked to contact Georgia State Patrol investigators. That is the latest here in College Park. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Deidre, thanks.